Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I show you how to make a bone-shaped neck and back pillow. Be sure to watch to the very end. I'll be showing you how to do a ladder stitch or slip stitch to close the opening. First, you'll need to print and cut out four of these pattern pieces. Join all the A edges together and then join all the B edges together. Your pattern will look like this. Transfer it onto cardboard if you're planning to make a lot of these. There's center notches here and here. There's also these two notches marking out the opening for the stuffing. You'll only need these notches on one of the fabric pieces. You'll need to cut out three fabric pieces. You can use all of the same fabric or a different one for each side. I'm using Japanese poplin and quilting cotton. You can cut out the pieces along the lengthwise grain or the crosswise grain. I'm cutting it out this way to save fabric. Remember not to include any selvage edges. Cut out with a rotary cutter or use a vanishing ink pen or chalk to mark all around, including the notches. Then pin through all the layers on the corners. I'm using my favorite Kai scissors to cut it all out. Cut all the center notches about an eighth of an inch. Remove all the pins and on the top fabric only, cut the notches for the opening. The reason why I don't leave the opening in the center is because it's a bit curvy here and I want less stress in that area and it's a bit straighter over here to stitch. But you can leave the opening in the center if you prefer. Adding loops to the end of the pillow is optional. You can make them out of elastic like this, ribbon or the fabric. You'll just need two lengths, 11 inches or 28 centimeters long. I like using elastic to stretch over luggage handles. Links for all the tools I use can be found in the description below. Match the ends together and then center it onto the notch. Stitch it in place close to the edge and repeat for the other side. Next place a second piece of fabric on top with right sides together. Match the center notches and pin it in place. It's important to get it right in the middle because that's where the stitching is going to start and stop. Now if you need to, pin all around to the center of the other side and also at the notches for the opening. With a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, stitch from this center to the start of the opening, back tacking at each notch. Skip over the opening, back tack, and then continue stitching around to the center of the other side and back tack again. Separate the layers and fold the top piece in half, then place the third piece of fabric on top with right sides together, match the notch to the center of the elastic. This time stitch right around to the center on the other side, back tacking at both ends. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. Check that you haven't overlapped any fabric at the centers. Put the two remaining layers together and move the other fabric out of the way, and also check that you're not going to be catching any of the loops. Stitch this last side together, back tacking at the start and finish. Next turn it right side out and poke out all the corners. Push the seams in at the opening and make a crease along the folds. For the stuffing I'll be using polyester fiber. Make sure to fill it nice and full and really get into those corners. I put in about 12 and a half ounces or 350 grams. Use a double thread with a knot at the end about 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. Start your slip stitch or ladder stitch by putting your needle in through the opening and coming out at the seam. Sew a stitch an eighth of an inch or three millimeters long right through one of the folds. From there, go straight across to the other piece and stitch through that fold. Go straight across again and continue stitching like that. Make sure to sew through the center of those folds so that it'll be invisible when you're finished. See how it's forming what looks like steps of a ladder? When you pull on it, the edges butt together beautifully. Continue stitching like that and just pull tight every inch or two.
When you get to the end of the opening, finish off by tying a knot and putting your needle into the seam and out again. And then I like to do a couple of more little stitches right on the seam before trimming off the thread. Use this pillow for your neck or your back and it's also great for traveling. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.